Hey everyone, it's Amber with Amber Art, and I'm gonna try out my new typewriter. I got this for free from somebody on Facebook Marketplace who was just getting rid of it, um, and he said he wasn't sure if it worked. He thought he did. I brought it home, I turned it on, and it seems to have worked, but it needs a new cartridge. Um, I did purchase a new cartridge, so I'll be taking this cartridge out if I can figure out. I, I watched a video and it didn't seem too hard. Oh, I think I need to like, there we go. So this is what the cartridge looks like. I'm not even in screen. It's not like a spool type, it's this cartridge type. And the woman who owned this company of like uh, refurbishing typewriters, <laughs> she said that this typewriter was great because the, the this ribbon lasts a really long time. And so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the cartridge now. My cat wants to get involved in the video. What do you think, Zero? Okay, this packaging is more complicated than I think it needs to be. We're gonna bust out the scissors. Okay, move along, buddy. So I did just a little bit of research on this typewriter. It looks like it was used in the 70s. It came out in the early 70s. And um, people expressed a lot of um, happiness with this typewriter like they felt like it was um like <laughs> they felt like it was a good typewriter that that lasted a long time the only complaint that I heard about it was that the carriage return it's this power return here um that you can't see because my cat is just all up in our business right now this power return one of the people was saying is pretty jarring um, and so some people like a manual return. This was like the new thing because it was the power return, which is why um, it was called a super. So let's turn this bad boy on. The first time I turned this on, this carriage return went really fast and it knocked something down. So um, I don't think that'll happen again, but I don't know if you can hear the whirring. And so we're going to do the power return now to bring the carriage to where it needs to be. And let's get our paper in. Oh my gosh, this is all coming back to me. How many of y'all learned on a typewriter? I did not learn to type on a typewriter, but I use a typewriter quite a bit as a kid growing up. So, here we go. It's working, y'all. <gasps> oh, I can't. I automatically went to backspace. There's no backspace. <laughs> oh my God, there's no backspace. Um, is there a strike through on this one where you can like go back and strike through? Do you, this is what whiteout was for. You would like move this a little bit. So I was type trying to type, I'm so happy. And I typed an E instead of a Y. So you'd like move this, you would put some white out on there. I have white out like the strip kind, but not like the little, okay. Not like the little paint kind. But you would go in there and you'd like white it out, let it dry, and then you type your Y over it. So that kind of fixed it. I'll show you at the end. Not having, not having a, um, a backspace or a delete is very bonkers. I'm gonna have to, and there's no like bump on the letters to let me know, like there's no guide to let me know I'm on the right letters even. That is strange. Huh, okay. Okay, let's take a look at this. 
You know what? I actually want to go all the way to the end and hear the ding. my margins so that that doesn't happen if, if I remember correctly you set your margins oh that that's how you do that so I'll set the margin over here so that it dings faster and I don't think I was I forgot that you have to like type hard to get the key to strike because I was like why is it so faint it's because I'm not pushing so I did those really really like hard and I'm getting really there's the ding and then I'll do some light oh no it doesn't make a difference I think that, that okay I'm just lying I want to hear the ding again Ugh, I'm delighted by this delighted My first, oh, my first line, I have a typewriter. Actually, I will zoom in. So that's where I made my typo, and I am so happy. And I went back and did the E and then did the Y over it, about it. So see how faint everything was for a minute? It was faint, 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 but then it picked up down here. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna be a very happy, weird camper for a little while here and enjoy my new typewriter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.